Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the model view controller design pattern, how Android helps us to follow it, and then we'll practice with one example uh, in tic-tac-toe and we'll actually take a look at the model that, that we have for that. All right, so any interactive program that, that you make is going to have three parts. You're going to have some data, you're going to have a way to view it, and then you're going to have a way to interact with it. Um, in a model view controller, I mean, we just use those exact names, right? So the data is called the model, the display is the view, and how we interact with it is called our controller. And what the pattern says is that to the extent that you can, you're going to separate these three things out into different chunks. Now what we find is that Android is, is actually already helps us out with, with some of this, with the view and the controller. All right, so let's take a look at, at how this is applied to um, a tic-tac-toe program, right? This is a little bit more complex than than the hello button um, because we need to keep track of the, the state of the game and who's winning and, and all that kind of stuff. So what we do is for the model, those are really simple to make. We're just going to make a Java class and there might, need, there might be a little bit of Android code in it or not. Um, in this case, this is going to be one that I'm going to give you. We're going to download a tic-tac-toe game um, and it's going to keep track of that array for us. The second, the view, we've already seen. So the view is our activity main, right? So it's just an XML layout. And in this case, it's going to be uh, not a relative layout but it's going to be a relative layout with a table layout inside it um, for the board. And then the third is, is are going to be our controller. And again, we've already seen an example of that as well, right? So, so that's the, just the main activity. Um, and we're going to have button listers, but of course we're going to be listening to 10 buttons this time, um, not just the, the one that we had in our, in our last um, example. Again, sort of to, to, to recap here, um, is that Android will automatically give us whoops, Android will automatically give us a, a separation between the view and the controller uh, if we let it. Um, and we are going to choose in tic-tac-toe to separate out the model from the, from the rest of the Java code. So these are both Java files. Um, we're going to separa separate them out just based on the complexity and we'll make that decision on a case-by-case -case basis for the different apps that we write. Most apps that are, that are, that are useful are going to need the separation because things are going to be complex enough. All right, so what I'd like you to do is to go ahead and, and click on this guy right here and download the, the files that you get. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll probably see there's just a way to, to download the whole zip. Um, so go ahead, download it, uh, unzip it, and then have them ready. So do that now. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and make our project. All right, so I still got my other one up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new, new project this time. Uh, and we'll call this guy Tick Tac toe and it should remember um, your your uh, your settings from before and your project location and everything uh, defaults empty activity and then main activity is going to be fine for this guy as well and click finish all right so it built what I'd like you to do now is to go ahead and to uh, grab the tic-tac-toe model file uh, that you unzipped and put it into the source folder in Eclipse. And you know, if it asks you to, you can copy it. And we'll take a look at it. So I already have mine on my clipboard. So I'm going to paste this guy in right now. Tic Tac Toe game. Put it in there. Um, while I'm at it, I'm also going to dump in. There was an icon from there that, that you probably saw. So um, go ahead and grab the icon too. Where the icon goes is going to be inside resources. Um, and Android's putting uh, icons in MipMap these days. So open that guy up and then paste it in. And I'll ask you which one you want to put it in. And I think it, it's thinking that mine is medium DPI. So I'll, I'll just take the default there and see what it does. Um, and it was called icon. I think that's a fine name. If I want to refer to that right now, then I'm going to go in my manifest, open that up. And you'll see that the application has an icon. And I'm going to change this from, from the, the launcher to to just icon all right maybe i should have called it tic-tac-toe icon but but it is what it is all right let's see what else what else we have here and really this is just a matter of of taking a peek and seeing what you got um so go into your into your tic-tac-toe game and uh, just just peruse the methods uh see what we have um because you'll, you're going to be using this in your code um pretty soon so for instance you know how do you how do you make a, a new tic-tac-toe game um, you know the constructor. We're gonna have to pass in the context. Uh, hey, there's a there's a, a function here that that is gonna control what happens when we press a button in a certain row and column. So continue looking at this. And once you're done, uh, that's it for this video.
We'll see you back next time.